What's going on, chat, young boys, man? It's your boy, GB3. Pound of the video, man. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to dribble with this dribble tuck, man. So I know I haven't posted in like a week and I said I was gonna start posting like every three days, but I was in Hawaii. So, you know, I was living my life up. But now I'm back. I have been posting on my TikTok, so you should check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. And yeah, I'm gonna help y'all boys out because y'all definitely need a dribble tuck, even though it's already season, season, huh, season seven and it's about to be season eight. So me personally, I think I'm a good dribbler. I don't think I'm the best, but I feel like I'm above average than most people. So like I said, I'm gonna help y'all out with most of the that i do so like fast mint um little misdirections that i use even had to cancel out of animations little things like that so hopefully you enjoy this video hopefully you stick through and actually watch it i'm gonna leave timestamps in the description so that way you can like skip through ahead and see like what move i'm doing at what time things like that so i'm not wasting y'all's time but without further ado if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop a like subscribe i'm gonna try to start uploading a lot more because i'm not going on any breaks or, or vacation or anything so yeah i'm gonna stop wasting time let's go ahead and get into this video man hey. all right so before the video actually fully starts we got to go over the six so these are the six that i be using um, you can feel free to copy these. If you don't copy them, you're just not gonna be able to be doing the same exact moves. Like it won't look the exact same as what I'm doing. But the only move you do need for this is John Wall moving step back. That's the only move you actually need. And that's gonna be for canceling out of animations. Everything else is up to you. But yeah, I use D Rose and Trey Young for my size ups. And yeah, here, here they are. These are my dribble. Alright, y'all. So getting into the first little thing I'm gonna teach you in the dribble tut is gonna be how to do fast man. So fast man, it's pretty much just like putting together a whole bunch of little standstill comments combos and doing momentums out of them and you get a lot of stuns and just one play by doing fast minute. so i'm gonna go ahead and teach you how to do it it's really easy so all you want to do let's say the ball's in your right hand right if you do any dribble move so let's say a long cross you do it between the legs you do it behind the back you can't you can't do things like the misdirections you can't do that for fast minute. let's say you just do like a normal stance so let's just do a long cross right after you do that long cross you just want to flick your right analog stick so to do the long cross you flick your right analog stick up diagonally left and after that you just flick your left analog stick diagonally up to the right so you'll get that you'll just get a momentum uh ah godly i can't speak you'll just get a momentum instantly after doing it i hope that makes sense like you don't even have to do the actual momentum um like you see what i'm doing right now you don't actually have to do that type of momentum literally if you just do like a long cross and hold your left analog stick the opposite way you get a momentum instantly so that's how you do fast man. so putting it together like with different moves it'll look like this like that so you see with the behind the back you get a slower momentum with the between the legs you get a slower momentum so you try to stay away from those type of animations so the best animation is just gonna be the normal d rose cross so like that and the tray cross like that and that's pretty much how you do fast man. so like i said it's really easy it takes practice though because you got to start putting in other moves like let's say after that momentum, you can do a misdirection behind the back like this. So you can do, you can do this like that. Simple. It's really easy. Once you start getting the hang of how to do fast mint, you'll start realizing like just how easy it is. Like I'm telling you, I'm not even, I, I can close my eyes and do fast mint literally all day. It's extremely easy. But yeah, it takes practice. It's not going to be like starting off. It might take you a little minute to learn, but once you learn it, I'm telling you, you'll be cooking up. So even if you do like a side step, a side step, you can do a momentum out of that. So all you want to do is just flick your left analog stick diagonally up to the right so like that simple it's really easy so any way you go you just want to flick your left analog stick the opposite way so or diagonally up the opposite way so like that like this it, it's it's really easy and if you ever need help i'm telling you just look at the hand cam the hand cam's there for a reason and it should help you out a lot all right so for the next move it's actually going to be this it's a misdirection crossover so it's really effective i'm telling you i'd be killing a lot of people by doing it because no one ever does it i'm not gonna lie i probably play like one or two people every week that does this move i don't know why no one does it it's overpowered and i've been doing it for months now i've been i've uploaded tutorials on how to do it tiktoks how to do it so i'm gonna teach you how to do it right now all you got to do is if the ball is in your right hand right you just want to flick your right analog stick to the right like diagonally or straight over horizontally over to the right and then right after that you just want to flick your left analog stick diagonally down to the left so it's really easy look at the hand cam it should look like this once you get it like that it's extremely easy and i'm telling you it's overpowered so once you get that animation like once you master how to just get that animation the little crossover or it's not even a crossover i call it the crossover because you can do this out of it oh hold up you can do this out of it and that's the crossover that i mean it's really overpowered all you got to do after it like to get that little crossover you just want to hold r2 and start running the opposite way i mean it's as easy as that you just do the move start holding r2 run the opposite way so you can also run the same way out of it so you can do like that and that's what kills people that's the move right there that'd be really catching defenders off guard doing that 
you see how fast it is i'm telling you if you master this move you will get open a lot more when playing too good so like i said you can go the same way out of it you can go opposite ways you can spam it like this that's normally what i'd be doing at times i like i can't make it up you'll get open so much more just off doing this move so yeah this move kind of takes a little bit of practice because if you want to get the fast animation like hold up like oh he's getting bumps on me you want to get the fast animation like that you got to wait a little bit and it, it i don't know it, it'll take you probably like five six minutes to learn how to do it's really easy though the next thing i'm gonna teach y'all how to do is actually how to cancel out of animations so canceling out of animations it's not the same as last year but i'm gonna show y'all briefly what it is and it, this is exactly what it is it's just canceling like out of like your uh speed boost essentially like you probably can't even tell that you're like he's not even doing anything trust me i'm canceling out of it so i'm gonna just show y'all like an example of what it normally looks like whenever you do like the little tray cross so when you try to spam it this is what it looks like you see you, it, it's it's not slow but this is exactly what it looks like all right so then when you try to cancel or when you cancel out of the tray cross it looks like this it's a lot faster let me just say that it's it's a lot faster and like in game you will see a difference like defenders will go sliding like i can't make it up i'm telling you it's really overpowered and a lot of people don't even use it so like I, it really doesn't look like i'm doing much but i'm telling you it's really easy to do all you got to do is just tap l2 that's it you just got to tap l2 so after you do the little tray cross so after you do this move or you do it between the legs or any any animation where you get a speed boost out of it you can cancel out so let's say i'm just do the tray cross for example after you do the tray cross all you want to do is tap l2 and then go the opposite way so like this it's really easy you want to tap l2 and then do another tray cross going the up opposite way so I like that it's, it's it's super easy i know this tutorial is not showing justice of like in game i might throw some clips of me doing it i don't know but i'm telling you you catch a lot of defenders sliding like i'm telling you a lot because let's just say let's say you do this move bow and then you cancel out like that i hope you can see like it's really fast it's really fast so yeah that's how you cancel adding animations and i'm telling you it's something you should learn because not a lot of people know how to do it and it's extremely easy to do all right for the next move it's actually a little move i kind of figured out i mean it, i don't i don't i've never done it in game but it just looks really cool so this is what it is it's just gonna be a little run back into a cancel out like that it's really easy so as you've seen all it is it's just me doing this uh running back and then like canceling out of me running back and then going to the side so it, i'm gonna tell you how to do it i've never done it in game but i feel like it'll actually get you open a lot i need to start doing it so all you want to do is you just want to do a normal speed boost animation to just run up the court so let's just do a crossover run up the court right after you run up the court you want to stop you want to let go of everything on your controller you don't want to be touching anything just let go of everything and stop all right so after you let go of everything and just stop running all you want to do is you start you want to start running back with your left analog stick and then like midway through you running you want to start holding r2 so it's like you're like walk jogging back and then you start running back you see that you get like a little speed boost animation running backwards so once again it's just it's like that Hopefully, if you look at the hand cam, it should like help you out. Like I, you, you like start walking back and then you start running back. It's it's really easy. And after that, you just want to cancel out of the animation of you running back. So you want to start running back at an angle. So normally I like to be I like to be on the right side and doing it. So I'll do this and start running back like back towards the right. So I'll try to show you again. So you know you do the speed boost, you start running back, and then oh I messed up. So you just want to do it like this. It's really easy. You just want to run up start running back boom cancel out it's really easy i don't know why i was messing up i can get it again right here hold up this big old mask got sitting in the middle of the way run back start running back up oh, whoa i don't know what that was all right so i don't know why i was messing up so much on it i mean it's really easy to do let's say like the ball's in your left hand you just want to run back diagonally left so like this run back bow so i didn't get the speed boost right there but it's pretty much the same thing you just want to run back there you go just like that it's it's really easy to do and i'm telling you i think it's overpowered and i've never even done it in game so i'm actually going to start trying this out in game i'm sorry if that dribble move was a little like complicated because i was i was messing up a lot i don't know why and yeah man that's pretty much it like i mean if you learn how to do fast mate you learn how to do the misdirection crossover or this this crossover um if you I'll, i might make a video on how to do this but i've made like five videos on how to do that uh, behind the back crossover already if you learn how to cancel out animations all that stuff you'll be dribbling exactly like me like i'm telling you it's it doesn't take it oh man i keep stuttering so it doesn't take much to dribble in this game i'm telling you once you learn how to do fast mint it's really just fast mint and like little moves like this and 
how to cancel out of animations it's you'll be killing kids in no time you'll be stage ready like it really is not hard at all so yeah man that pretty much does it for the little dribble moves so let me know if you want a part two like going in a little bit more in depth about some of the like fast minute things i'd be doing or like the behind the back just let me know in the comments if y'all want a part two all right y'all so that does it for the video hopefully you enjoyed this dribble tut and hopefully you actually learned some things from it. like i really hope that like you can start cooking up in park or stage pro whatever you're playing and you can become a good player because it's really easy to be a good dribbler in this game all it takes is practice and you know you got to put in the work as corny as it sounds it's a virtual basketball game but you actually do got to put in practice and actually try so i'll be telling all my friends that like if you actually want to be good you actually got to um, do things that other people aren't doing so me i'd be sitting my my core all the time i don't do it anymore because i pretty much like perfected how i dribble and yeah you got to find your own style of how you dribble and what works best for you but like i said i'm going to get out this video man if you liked it drop a like and subscribe and for now it's been your boy gb3 and i'm out y'all peace